This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Good afternoon, my Real News Media TV family. Welcome back to the channel for another news update for January 29, 2023. And in the news this afternoon, 13-year-old girl stabs 19-year-old brother to death. The St. James police are investigating the circumstances surrounding the death of 19-year-old Noel Demetrius, who his 13-year-old sister allegedly stabbed during a dispute at their home in Irwin, St. James, this morning. Reports are that shortly after 9 a.m., the siblings were at home with other family members when an argument developed between them. The unemployed Demetrius reportedly started to beat his younger sister, who reached for a knife and allegedly inflicted a wound in the region of his chest. Demetrius was rushed to the Cornwall Regional Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. Four killed in West Kingston violence Four men were shot and killed in West Kingston yesterday. In an incident at approximately 5 p.m. on Luke Lane, 42-year-old Randy Robinson and 31-year-old driver Terence Stammer Forsyth were killed and the two other men are reportedly nursing gunshot wounds. Robinson was visiting relatives and was accosted by unknown assailants who shot and killed him, during which the other three men were shot, with Forsyth also succumbing to his injury. Meanwhile, at approximately 9 p.m., Emilio West, a 24-year-old upcoming artist, and 37-year-old Anthony Davis of Chestnut Lane in Tivoli Gardens were killed in water residency or reprisal attacks. Four other persons were injured in that shooting. The West Kingston Police Division has recorded five murders since the start of this year, two fewer than the seven recorded for the corresponding period last year. Clarendon Farmer found dead on plantation. The body of a 68-year-old man was found on a plantation where he worked in Whitney District in Moko Clarendon on Sunday morning. Everton Allison, otherwise called Jano, a farmer from Richmond Park District in Moko, was found dead by residents who embarked on a search after he had not been seen for several days. Police said preliminary investigations revealed that Allison was last seen on Thursday, sometime in the morning, going to the farm where he worked. He had not been seen or heard from since, which arose the suspicion of residents, however no missing person report was made. Police reported that around 8 a.m. Sunday, concerned residents commenced a search, during which the body of the now deceased was found on the plantation and the authorities summoned. On the arrival of the police, Allison's partially decomposed body was identified. Police said he was clad in a grey t-shirt and blue jeans pants, and the body was seen lying face down on the ground. The police were unable to say if any foul play was suspected. Education Ministry working to address issues related to late payment of salaries to teachers. The Ministry of Education is scrambling to address issues that resulted in a number of teachers receiving their pay late. The Jamaica Teachers Association has blasted the Ministry for the delayed payment, characterizing it as a sign of disregard for the teachers. Minister of Education Favel Williams says the delay was caused by issues in the calculation. Mrs. Williams says, while the issues have been recurring for some time, the ministry is working to sort out the problems in the system. NWC disruptions affect several communities in St. Andrew and St. Anne. Several communities across Jamaica are facing disruptions in their water supply today. Releases from the National Water Commission state that the affected areas are those served by the King Weston Water Facility in St. Andrew, Civil No. 1 Water Facility in St. Anne and the Civil No. 2 Water Facility again in St. Anne. The releases blamed the disruption on electricity company Jamaica Public Service, single-phase issue, and stated that water would return when the problem is resolved. The affected areas are a section of Bucky Plan, Belmont, Grant Hill, Florence Hill, Lawrence Tavern, Mount Ogle, Matthew Road, Tom's River, Coakley and the Johnny Ridge, which are served by the King Weston facility, and the civil, top civil, priory, farmers' heights, sections of Heartland, new civil housing scheme, farmer's scheme, rent ground and hospital, 
which are all served by the civil number one and the number two facilities. NWC apologized to the affected customers in the releases while stating that the entity regrets the inconvenience the disruption caused. Special fund being established for firefighters in honor of Lorenzo Dose. A special fund is being established for young men who are joining the Jamaica Fire Brigade. The fund is being named in honor of firefighter Lorenzo Dose, who was killed in a motor vehicle crash as he was loading the fire truck in St. Anne last November. Thousands gathered at the Monique College Auditorium to pay their final respects. Minister of Local Government Desmond McKenzie says efforts should be made to rest the young men from a life of crime and violence. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.